here in the magnificent refurbished Empire Terrace at Yonkers Raceway, and a year's subscription to Hubrail Magazine. The first winner tonight is Rhea Weinstein of Valley Stream, New York, who asks, what methods are used by drivers to urge their horses on? What are the rules regarding the use of the whip, and what other techniques are employed to get the most from a horse? Well, the rule here in New York regarding the use of the whip says that a driver may use the whip only in a conventional manner. Brutal, excessive, unnecessary, or indiscriminate use of the whip is prohibited. And welts, cuts, or whip marks on a horse resulting from use of the whip is a prima facie violation of the rule. Drivers are prohibited from whipping under the arch of the sulky, from kicking the horse, or punching him, or jabbing him with the whip, or using the whip in any manner so as to interfere with another driver or another horse in the same race. That is the rule, and as far as other methods of urging their horse on, the hands are the primary method used. Hands and the body English. But you can shake the lines of the horse, and if a driver knows his horse and he doesn't need whipping, he can get just as much out of him without using the whip as he can with it. Sometimes in use of the whip, he is hitting either the saddle pad or the shaft or the sulky, or waving it over the horse's back, and that, in many cases, has the desired effect. Second winner tonight is Mrs. Val Monaco of Yonkers, who says, my husband and I are avid harness fans, and we were arguing over the following question. If an owner has two horses entered in a race, which are trained by two different trainers, can the horses race in the same race? And if they are able to race, would they be made into entries? Well, in an overnight race, the kind that you see every night, the average race on the car, they cannot be entered uh, two horses from the same stable. In a stakes race or an early closing race in which entries are taken more than 72 hours before the race, they can be entered and are coupled as an entry under the circumstances that you mentioned where an owner might have uh, two horses in a race trained by different trainers, they would still nevertheless be an entry. Also, although you didn't ask, if a trainer entered two horses in a race that are owned by different owners, they would also be coupled as an entry. Although some states in the past have allowed that situation and have allowed the horses to remain uncoupled where a trainer had two horses owned by different owners. Not in New York and not in the New York area. Those are our winners for tonight. Congratulations and send your best questions to OTB Questions and Answers. 1501 Broadway, New York, New York, 10036. And send them to the attention of the marketing department.